Hello guys, welcome to Alistair Aquatics. I hope you're doing well. In this video, we're gonna be focusing on something a bit different than usual. We're gonna be focusing on my bonsai trees, okay? This is a more recent development, you know, a hobby that I've just started to get into maybe in the past six months. Uh, I've been scouring the web and YouTube for really helpful ideas and inspiration, and it's something I've really gotten into. So what I'm gonna do in this video is just take you through my collection of bonsais. What are they? What tips have I maybe got to give you if you're into bonsais? And if you are a budding bonsai enthusiast yourself and you've got some really good ideas, please leave them in the comments below, okay? I really want to hear them and I'm sure the other viewers would too. And if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos every week. Also, I am on Instagram at Alistair underscore aquatics. Okay, so be sure to follow me there too. Okay, so let's see how we get on. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so here's my bonsai tree setup. Okay. And next to it, we've got a beta tank with water just chilling out. He's a funny guy. Uh, I did used to have the bonsai trees set up on my window ledge, uh, but recently here in the UK, uh, it started to get really cold. And especially with that window ledge having a radiator below it, I thought it'd be the safest option to move those trees away from there and give them a bit extra lighting over here. Okay, so I think it looks really cool and I'm definitely enjoying it. Okay, so I decided to set this up for my bonsai trees just because we're moving into winter and there's not as much daylight coming in through the windows and the days are a lot shorter. And what I wanted to do is just give the plants a bit of an extra boost, give them a bit more light. So I had an old aquarium light sitting about an LED one that I've now got sat on uh, two uh, shelf brackets, which I picked up from a local shop and just stuck them to the wall. They're not holding a lot of weight, so it should be okay. And this gives them, you know, a bit of extra light and sort of added bonuses. I think it looks really cool, you know, especially when the room's darker and just the trees are lit up. It looks like a really nice sort of forest scene going on behind me. And yeah, I'm really enjoying how it looks. It's been set up now for about a week or two and I've noticed a bit of growth. I wouldn't say there's more growth than usual and maybe it's a bit too soon to tell yet but I will again do an update on this video uh, and how these trees are doing. Okay so my first tip is going to be to do with lighting and how much light your bonsai trees are getting okay so it's important that when you do get a bonsai tree or even before you do look up what species you have or what species you're going to get as this will tell you what they're watering requirements are and their lighting requirements okay so depending on how much light they need they might need to place be placed in a different area in the house or maybe you could set up something like i have to give them a bit of extra light so all of these trees apart from the portrait of carry afra okay but almost all of these uh, are really not going to like too much full sun okay so that's when they're in direct sunlight uh, this could be too hot and you know cause them to lose water too quickly and you could see the leaves starting to wilt okay so be aware of that some species like the portrait carry afra are okay in direct sunlight but they also do okay in indirect sunlight so just be sure to look up the lighting requirements of the bonzo tree you're gonna get Okay, what I'm going to do now is bring the trees downstairs and take you through each one. You know, what species is it? And do I have any tips? And again, if you're a budding bonsai enthusiast, no pun intended, uh, please leave some comments below if you have any awesome tips for us uh, because it's something that I'm quite new to uh, and I definitely appreciate some tips if you have any. Okay, so I'm going to start off with probably my favourite species of bonsai tree I have, which is the Portulacaria afra. Can I put it close to you so you can get a good look? Okay, uh, they have these really nice sort of barky looking trunks and the leaves are almost succulent leaves, you know, they're filled with water and 
you know, quite a vigorous growing tree and it really doesn't require a lot of water, that's what I found. Uh, I like to let the soil dry out for maybe a week, at least in between waterings, uh, just to make sure this guy isn't being overwatered because they come from an area uh, where they're not going to get loads of water, especially in the winter. And yeah, for some reason, I think the leaves, they have, they're quite small leaves. It really appeals to me. And I think they have a really cool aesthetic. Okay, now we're moving on to my Ligustrum bonsai trees. Okay, this is a species which uh, is pretty hardy. Uh, it can be grown outdoors, you know, a few doors down. A lot of houses in the UK, you know, will have it as their sort of front garden hedging. Um, so a really hardy plant. I do find out of all my bonsai trees, these guys uh, need the most water. You know, the soil is drying out quicker. You know, they're really using that water a lot and they're using it fast. Um, they are pretty vigorous growers. I mean, if we have a look at this larger ligustrum, you know, they've got an incredible amount of shoots coming out from the base here. Uh, you'll notice with all my bonsai trees that I'll show in this video, uh, they might not look, look uh, perfectly trimmed, you know, perfectly kept. Uh, this is just because we're coming into the winter season and they're not going to be growing. So I'm not going to be trimming them until the sort of early spring when I know they're going to start growing again, get some vigorous growth over the spring and the summer. So they're sort of entering a more uh, dormant period at the moment. They're not going to be growing as much just because it's not as much light. It's colder and the daylight hours are shorter. Uh, this is a really nice looking species. Um, you know, I have it in two different styles here. I've got the wavy trunk that's obviously been wired and bent into that shape. And then I've got just the classic single trunk, um, which then sort of branches out to a bush style. Uh, yeah, my tip with these guys is they need a lot of water. Uh, I think I was watering them every day uh, during the summer when it was really hot. And now I probably water them about two or three times a week. Okay, so whenever the soil looks dry on these guys, I give them a good water. Uh, when I do water them, when I do water all of my bonsai trees, what I want to do is wet the top of the soil, especially if it's dried out, give it a moment to make sure that water uh, can be absorbed by the top layer of the soil, and then give it a huge water to the point where you see drips dripping out of the bottom of the, tr uh, the pot onto the tray. Okay, that's a good sign that all of the soil in your pot has been uh, watered and that means there's not any areas of the roots where there's not going to be enough water or any sort of dry pockets. By doing that you ensure the whole plant, all of the root system is getting enough water. Okay so yeah really cool uh, species, I'm really enjoying them and this is definitely my biggest bonsai tree. Uh, I've had it for a few months now and yeah these shoots weren't here when I first picked them up. But yeah, looking good. Okay, and finally I have my two Chinese pepper trees. Again, I have a larger S-style pepper tree and a smaller single trunk, uh, just straight trunk uh, pepper tree as well. Okay, these guys are really cool. If I bring this closer, you can maybe see that the leaves on this guy are really small, glossy leaves which again really adds to that effect of this being a miniature tree. Uh, and I re yeah, really like these guys. Again, like the Ligustrum, they do like a lot of water, but I wouldn't say they're as thirsty as the Ligustrum uh, bonsai trees. Um, they are pretty fast growers, and yeah, I've been really enjoying them. I mean, this guy I trimmed up uh, sort of late summer, and he's already grown like crazy since I did that. Uh, this is quite a cool pot. When I bought it, it came with a, a rock sort of stuck in it, which I think is quite cool. And just add a little, a little uh, dinosaur there, just to add to the miniature effect. Might be a bit out of scale, but that's no problem at all. And again, so my tip with the bonsais, uh, with watering my bonsai trees, is to always water them until the water drips out of their pot, okay? So if you are starting off getting into bonsai, um, make sure whatever pot you're putting your bonsai tree into, there's drainage holes, okay? Because what you don't want is the tree roots to be sat in water. This can lead to root rot and eventually kill the tree, okay? So definitely don't want that. 
Uh, another thing to look out for is check them regularly for pests. Uh, quite a common thing to find is aphids and sort of mealy bugs, the sort of white furry looking aphids as well. Uh, so just keep an eye out on your plants. And in general, you know, give them a good look at at least once a week, I'd say. Make sure that the leaves look okay, there's no discoloration or no leaves dropping or anything like that. And during the growing season, what I do is I have some bonsai specific fertilizer and I probably go a bit under what they recommend and dose that every few weeks. Uh, I just add it, mix it in with their water and they get uh, fertilizer, uh, fertilizer when I water them. Okay, so yeah, it's a really cool hobby that I've gotten into. Uh, I was just struck at how beautiful they are, I think. You know, the form of the trunk is really cool. And just the fact that it's alive, you know, the fact that this is a plant, it's not just a, a fake plant. I'm personally not a big fan of the faux plants you can buy, have them around your house. But I think this is really cool. Um, when getting into bonsai trees, I definitely say they require a bit more effort than your average house plant. But that's not to say that if you're a beginner, you shouldn't give it a go. It just means you probably want to keep a bit more of an eye on these guys as they might, depending on the species, require more water. Okay, so something like the Portulacaria afra, that's a really great species, I think, for any uh, beginners getting into bonsai. And if you're already into bonsai and want a bit of a challenge, try the Ligustrum or these Chinese pepper trees. They're really cool. Um, let me know down below if you have any tips. You know, I'm sure uh, me, well, I definitely want to know. And, I'm sure all the other viewers would like to know as well if you have any really great tips for keeping bonsai trees. Again, apologies if any of my information isn't 100% spot on. This is just my own personal experience that I've had over the last six months with these trees. Um, overall, I'd say I'm having a good, you know, successful time with them. Um, but yeah, correct me if I've sort of said anything wrong in the comments uh, as I'm still a beginner myself. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this one and I'll keep you updated in the future. Okay, so here are three other plants I thought I should give you just a quick look at. Uh, technically, you know, these are trees. So I've got my little dragon palm tree there and uh, I've got my ponytail palm sat in here. Uh, it's amazing, or elephant's foot palm, I think they're called. It's amazing when you look how big these guys can get out in nature. Um, so you've got to be sure that when these guys do start to get root bound to uh, up the size of their pot. And in this small pot here, I just have some more Portulacaria afra, but this is the uh, variegated variety. Okay, so it's got some white parts on its leaves. So yeah, these guys are really cool. <coughs> okay, so we've come to the end of the video. I hope you found that one useful or maybe inspiring if you're just getting into uh, having bonsai trees as well. Um, this has been a really fun video to make and I will be doing some updates shortly as well on how they're doing and how things are progressing. And if you've liked this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon. Okay, bye for now guys. Hello and welcome guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome to Alistair Aquatic. You know, something a bit different than normal again. We're going to be focusing on blah 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 blah. blah.